Good evening, guys. Now, chances are many of you used I-49 today, which is the region's only major north-south interstate. Now, northwest Arkansas is not served at all by a major east-west interstate. Now, a group of lawmakers in Arkansas and Oklahoma is hoping to change that. But flipping a highway to an interstate may be a little more complicated than you might think it is. It's no secret northwest Arkansas's population is exploding. Estimates have around 1 million people calling this area home by 2045. And all those people need infrastructure to support it. It's nice to have I-49 to zip you up to Kansas City in a few hours, but getting to Tulsa and Oklahoma City to the west is another challenge. But that could get a lot easier with an ambitious plan by Senator John Bozeman. He and a few other senators are petitioning to designate Highway 412 as a future interstate. As goods and commerce have increased in the area, and, and uh, this will not only create some jobs to do it, but it will create a tremendous economic opportunity as we go forward. The proposal would make Highway 412 a future interstate from I-49 in Springdale to I-35, just west of Tulsa. Besides gathering the funding needed to tackle such a large project, other hurdles are also in the way. Mainly large sections of Highway 412 are currently not built to interstate standards, so major construction would have to happen in some spots. There's certain criteria that you have to meet. Uh, the good news is I think we'll be in pretty good shape to do that. Certainly it takes funding, and that's why it's important to get this designation so that, uh, uh, you know, it, it says as a nation, this corridor is very important. It's, it's a priority. Now, one of the questions being asked about the proposal is what exactly happens with Highway 412 once it gets into Oklahoma? Because as you can clearly see behind me, portions of the road do become toll roads. Now, transportation officials here in Oklahoma say if and when the new interstate gets created, all existing toll roads will be incorporated into the new interstate. The seeds for this project are already being sowed with the creation of the Northern Springdale Bypass that will be built to interstate standards, as well as the access road to XNA. Examples of interstate standards include a speed limit of 70 miles an hour, shoulder widths, and controlled access, things portions of Highway 412 are currently lacking. Despite the support from both states, the biggest hurdle lies in Washington, because to get this done, it must be approved by the House and Senate. And it's not as simple as replacing some signs. To get an inter interstate designation is, is actually a pretty big deal. Uh, I'm on the Environment and Public Works Committee. Senator Inhofe is a leader on that committee. So we, you know, we're teaming up. We're going to do everything we can to get that done. I think we've got a fair chance of doing it. Now, guys, if you're looking for a good test case to see how something like this goes, they actually did this nearly 15 years ago outside of the Pittsburgh area where they flipped a couple of state routes as well as a U.S. highway into an interstate. Now, what's interesting to note is that project was less than half the length of this one, took almost 15 years and $40 million to get done, meaning it could be some time before Highway 412 becomes whatever interstate they see fit. Near the Arkansas-Oklahoma border, Robert Sir, 4029 News.